Best burrito tour of the Inland Northwest continues. We are at one of my favorite places, De Leon's Foods on Francis, right off Division. Sergio, always good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. All right, well, your burritos, they came up on our Facebook page like crazy. What makes your guys' burrito special? You know, the tortillas is what makes the, uh, the burritos the best thing. And I love your tortillas because they're, you guys make them right here in the shop. All right, well, let's see what their burritos are all about. We're going to make one. This is one of my special recipes that, uh, and I don't know how to make too many stuff, but this is the, <laughs> one of the only things that, uh, so yeah, this is one of the best. So five in the morning. Yeah. No wonder you watch me on Good Morning Northwest yeah, every really, morning. Yeah. Uh, I think you watch for Nadine, not me. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we've got our beef. That, that's basically the, where we start, okay? Yeah. And just kind so, of Yeah, we have the, the beef, and then uh, we're just going to put it in the tortilla, and it's pretty, pretty simple, you know? It's, but it actually, it's been... Uh, it actually cooks for about four hours. Wow. Yeah. No wonder it's so yeah. nice and tender, because that's Very why tender. I love your guys' carne asada burritos. Every time I come here, I, I, that's all I ever get. I don't think I've ever tried. Honestly, I don't think I've tried much else. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. with the carne asada burrito, I, I mean, obviously, we just saw the carne go in there, but you can get it in all sorts of varieties, right? Yeah, I mean, we have, you know, a lot of people actually, which is something odd, you know, they actually like uh, like a, a chili relleno burrito, uh -huh. which they they put the whole chili relleno wow. in, into the tortilla, and you know, so I mean, anything that we have here, I mean, we can make it into a burrito or a taco. But I mean, again, one of the most popular is the carne asada. All right, and you guys have one downtown. Where's your Where's your downtown? Downtown, uh, 825 West Riverside, on the corner of Lincoln and Riverside. Really popular. And then, and yeah. then you got the rest of the the deli here. Where's the, this at? The deli, uh, 102 East Francis here on, uh, on North Spokane, but uh, you know we're open every day. All right, uh, all right. One, one of my favorite places, Sergio. Thanks for being with us. All right, only thing left to do, Dwight, our producer, is try it. <laughs> okay, it's time to give the carne asada burrito here at Delion's a try. I can't tell you how tender this meat is. It literally melts in your mouth. That's why I have to say, when it comes to carne asada burritos, this is definitely my favorite place in town. So, if you're ever in North Spokane, over here on Francis, just east of Division, check them out, or at their downtown location. All right, our best burrito tour of the Inland Northwest continues. Stay with us. We are at Qdoba at their location on the South Hill, and I'm with their marketing manager, Henry Scott Simpkins. Hey, so glad to have you here, Henry. It's glad to have you here. Thanks for being here. You know, I was excited because you guys showed up on our Facebook page. The Naked Burrito, it's my favorite. The Naked Burrito, the Naked Burrito got tons of votes for that one. You know, before we get into that, tell us the vibe of Qdoba, because you guys are a chain restaurant, but you got great food. The Naked Burrito is a healthy alternative. It's yeah. for, for the health conscious people that are looking for a way to trim down some calories and, and provide uh, that healthy ingredients and fresh ingredients in our food. All right, uh, here in the Inland Northwest, you guys have what, three locations in Spokane? We do. Two, quick shot where they're at. Two Spokane uh, locations, one at North Division, uh, just south of Costco, here on the South Hill, right behind Sacred Heart Medical mm -hmm. Center. And then uh, Coeur d'Alene was actually one of the very first stores uh, brought online uh, the nationwide chain over in Coeur d'Alene uh, next to Staples off of I-95 and Ironwood. All right, good deal. And we got the vibe here. They call him the Big Shot Henry Scott. So, you know, where'd you, know, where'd you pick that nickname up? See? Yeah. See? The From these shot. guys back right. there. <laughs> the Big Shot is in the house, and so is the Naked Burrito. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, we're with Timon Hoffman. He's the manager here at the South Hill location. He makes a lot of these naked burritos, and this is a really busy, busy spot. You get a lot of folks from the hospital, right? Oh, yeah. Huge amounts from the hospital. Very health conscious, I would imagine. And that's the thing about the naked, right? It's, it's a health conscious. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, our, it's our lighter version of our regular burrito. All right. Well, it's time to make it. Let's see what it's all about. All right. Here we go. All right. We're going to start off with our fresh cilantro lime rice. And then we're going to go with one of our two choices of our cumin simmered black or, black or pinto beans. We're just going black here. Then we've got our choice of meats. We're going to go ahead and choose our chicken. All of our meats are marinated or um, slow simmered. We've got our choice of our five salsas here. We're going to go with our mild pico de gallo. It's fresh made every day. And then we're going to move on to a little of our fresh hand splash guacamole. And so uh, we're going to finish it off with some cheese and sour cream. There we are, one naked burrito. Oh yeah. Okay, let's give the naked burrito a try. Make sure I get my grilled chicken on there. 
Mm. Really good. I love black beans and rice. It's one of my favorites. This combination is so good. So if you're looking for an alternative, something light, healthy, that's quick, and tastes so good, make sure that you come to Qdoba. We're at the South Hill location. They've got a couple more in Spokane. All right. I've still got three more to go. Come on. Our best burrito tour of the Inland Northwest continues. We are in Coeur d'Alene. We are at Azteca Southwest Grill. And this place is absolutely gorgeous inside. Great ambiance, great food. I'm with Kiko Barajas, their head chef and owner here. Hey, you guys made our list. You were blowing up our Facebook page for obvious reasons. Because you guys talk about your burritos because they are really, really good. I love the veggie personally. Oh, no, Pa. Today we're going to make the fajita shrimp burrito. All right. So that's my favorite. So I know. that That's your signature. Tell, yes. us, tell us about this burrito. Basically, it comes with uh, rancho beans, Mexican rice, sustained shrimp with uh, five kinds of vegetables. We top it with pico de gallo, sour cream, guacamole, oh, and a ranchero sauce. Well, my mouth is watering. And well, the, the cool thing is you guys just got your liquor license here, yes. so, so we can wash that down with a, a margarita? Of course. All right, so I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. All right, let's see what this burrito is all about. He's gonna make it for us. Okay, we're in the Azteca Southwest Grill kitchen. This is where it all happens. You're a big man. Both of us can't fit in here uh, for too long, but we're gonna kick this thing off. I'm gonna, just gonna step out of the way, Kiko, and let okay. you do your magic because no you're a wizard with your mouth as well as... Okay, as, as so, wow. uh, Basically, we're gonna make a shrimp fajita burrito. We're gonna start with our butter, right here. And then we put our pan in the heat. We got shrimp right here going. So, we're just gonna take the tails out really quick. I throw it in there so that way it cooks a little bit. Get my beef, Roma tortilla, or tomato tortilla. Get my Mexican rice in it. And then we're gonna add our whole rancho beans. So for the ones that want to be healthy like me. We're going to roll it, of course. And then we're going to put our ranchera salsa on top to top it out with it. And to finish it up, we're going to use fresh pico de gallo. Sour cream and guacamole, of course. And our cotija cheese. And basically right here, you get you fajita burrito. Best deal in Azteca, my favorite. Okay, I'm kind of like in heaven right now because I've got my shrimp fajita burrito, which I'm gonna take a taste of. Oh my goodness, this is so good. That is so good, Kiko. Is he around here? And I was just talking with our producer, Dwight, about how much I love the chips here at Azteca because they always come out so hot and fresh. I've been to a lot of other places. They have the best chips around with their salsa. And Kiko promised me, you know, they, they finally, they've got the liquor license out here. <laughs> Out in Coeur d'Alene at the Azteca Southwest Grill. Let's give it a shot. I'm not a straw guy, I just like to eat. Need a little salt with my margarita. So good. So if you're ever in Coeur d'Alene, you got to come out to Azteca Southwest Grill. All right, our burrito tour continues. Stay with us. In the Kitchen is brought to you by the Hispanic Food Network. Visit our website at www.hispanicfoodnetwork.com.